The African Technology Policy Studies Network, ATPS, is a leading multidisciplinary network of researchers, practitioners, and policymakers that promotes science, technology, and innovation policy research, as well as dialogue and practice. ATPS was founded in 1984 um, after a conference that identified the need for building capacity in science, technology, and innovation in Africa. Uh, because that was uh, the missing link in Africa's development effort. But it has evolved since then uh, from being a secretariat housed under the International Development Research Center, IDRC, uh, the East Africa and um, East and Southern Africa Regional Office, to an independent organization uh, in the year 2001 and uh, a full, an international organization with full diplomatic status in the Republic of Kenya by the year 2003. And since then, it has grown to have uh, national chapters in 23 countries in Africa. And currently, other countries, other four countries, are being considered for membership. The main objective of ATPS is to build capacity in science, technology, and innovation in Africa for Africa's development. So our motto is building science, technology, and innovation to, uh, capacity today for sustainable development tomorrow. ATPS and its SEDDEV partners met in Mombasa, Kenya to announce the launch of a process aimed at creating an African manifesto for science by Africans in Africa. There are three parallel conferences going on. Um, there is the Women Innovation Challenge program which we'll be launching. There is also the Science, Ethics and Technological Responsibility for Developing and Emerging Countries, uh, what we call SEDDEV, that is also going on. And uh, last but definitely not least is the Youth Innovation Challenge Program. Now the reason why we are running these uh, workshops parallel is because we want uh, different inputs from different aspects of uh, different societies, different communities, the research community, the media, the young people and the women. Uh, and we want their input into uh, science, technology and innovation, um, particularly in regards to the drafting of um, manifesto, an African manifesto for science, by Africans for Africans. We're talking about Africans framing an agenda of the questions we should be asking and the solutions that science and technology can help us to find. The core functions, the core features of these programs uh, include what we call the triple I's, which is the innovation incubation initiatives, uh, then peer-to-peer -peer collaboration and mentorship, postdoctoral fellowships and internship, leadership training and all of these work under the principle of what we call the pay it forward initiative which means when you are trained you go ahead and train another if you learn you go ahead and teach another if you benefit you go ahead and pass on the benefit to, uh, to another so that we can leapfrog development in Africa. ATPS used this platform to launch the Women Innovation Challenge program We Can and the Youth Innovation Challenge program why I can. If we really, really want to wake up Africa, we must really start with the women. Because the women of Africa really are the backbone of Africa. You wake up in the morning, the woman is already out cleaning, making breakfast. Ten o'clock, she's out in the field with a hole, planting something in the ground for tomorrow. In the afternoon, she's back home, getting the children looked after, after coming from school. Evening, she's really stressed because the husband is coming home and he want lots of food and a lot of attention. So really, we have a graceful lot of women with us here today, appreciating the fact that ATPS is a forerunner in recognizing the place of the woman, the importance of the place of the woman in our society in Africa. Let us clap for that. The moment has come for us to uh, launch the initiative. Um, and I think uh, 
instead of just three of us standing here, because at this moment, we are handing over our dream to you guys so that uh, you can take it forward. I would really be happy to have as many of us come up here. Anybody who wants to come up and join us in the launching the initiative, as many people, or should I say all of us, to come up here. <laughs> Anybody who believes in the why I can or we can initiative to come up here so that we can just do the lunch and um, try to close this dinner. For the women, I want to ask a question. Can we address all the challenges and problems and lift Africa to development by 2015? Yes, we can. We can. The, the youth are the reasons for you to be able to lead Africa to development, uh, to, uh, to overtake America by 2015? Yes! Yes, you can! Yes, you can. With that, <laughs> with that, we wish to declare the Why I Can and the Wake Up program. initiative to launch the Youth Innovation Challenge Program and the Women Innovation Challenge Program has been one that ATPS has thought of carefully. Uh, it came out of demand by our country chapters through the process of formulating our strategic plan for 20, 2008 to 2012. And it certainly feels well to see that people, delegates from different representatives of different countries and different Africans in the diaspora and friends of Africa from Europe and the rest of the world are here and have taken on the challenge to start implementing the program. So I do feel as the executive director of ATPS that it's a dream well dreamt. It is um, a, a program well packaged and I'm very grateful to all the countries and all the delegates and all the partners that has contributed in building the program and are also here to take on the challenge to move the program forward. So as I see the women, the youths, and the, the other set dev group discuss and plan the strategies in, on how to take this program forward, I feel relieved that the dreams is over. It's now time for action. But I still also feel challenged that the action uh, needs to be done. So as they would say, a lot has been done. So far, so good. But more yet needs to be done. Because as ATPS, we will not rest until we see an Africa where science, technology, and innovation is the engine for development. And we see an Africa where there is a new renaissance, where we are doubling our GDP, we are eradicating poverty, we are achieving our Millennium Development Goals, and we have a good life for the good Africans in all the good countries of Africa. Interested in development of Kenya. Young innovators, scholars, academics and professionals from across the world attended the conference. They all seemed optimistic about the future of science in Africa. As far as this conference is concerned, uh, personally I've learned that it's not all about books. Uh, it's not all about going to read and doing what. But it's about you as an individual deciding to see the opportunities that are here in Kenya so that we can uh, embark ourselves in the opportunities and see what we are going to gain from it as young people in Kenya. What I have gathered is the, that we need to socialize science. We actually need to take science to the end user for science to have an impact because science and society are very connected. Science and society are one. As you heard uh, Dr. Urama saying that science is evolving and society is also evolving. So it is one. I think this is the best program for the youth because you find that initially the youth like this, uh, it has been forgetting in a way. And innovative starts from young brains. 
most of the time the young brains have got the idea and they develop together the idea so when you have a, uh, such a program is the right program because the youth will be motivated